The Halifax Club has remained a landmark in Halifax for many years. It is the site of a private gentleman's club. It is where high society hangs its hat. And it also is a place that is reputed to be haunted. The club was established in 1862 by 15 influential and wealthy uh, men in, in Halifax. The men had very close ties with Mother England. The city needed a grand ballroom and a place to hold uh, special dinners. They decided to form the club, build the clubhouse. The first story involves the manager of the club. The first manager was here at the Halifax Club in 1864. And in 1870, he shocked everyone by standing up in front of the members, stabbing himself repeatedly. The reason why we think this is a potential for haunting, obviously there was a level of insanity, and this is one of the only recorded deaths here at the club. The untimely death of the general manager at his own hands has resulted in his spirit remaining at the scene of his death. He is now a prisoner of the famous Halifax Club. One hot spot of activity in the club is near the cloakroom on the first floor of the building. One employee actually experienced an ice cold feeling standing near the cloakroom and sensed a really evil presence near her. It was a spine tingling encounter. Although this employee still works at the club, she's not at all comfortable going near the cloakroom area on the first floor of the building. The second story involves one of our members being involved with the most popular lady of the evening here in Halifax. One night a member of the club went into Halifax for some entertainment. He joined the company of another woman, possibly a lady of the night. Fortunately for this gentleman, he died while he was in bed with his company. He had a heart attack while with her, and he was married. She wanted to avoid scandal, so she contacted the club. His companions and members of the club wanted to save his poor reputation. Thereby, they went and retrieved the body and brought the body back and laid it out on the front steps of the club. They wanted it to make it seem like the poor chap had died while walking out the front door. And since that time, this gentleman, who seems to be quite misplaced in history, remains haunting the gentleman's club. So the Halifax Club haunting, I suppose, uh, has all the elements of the usual ghost story. You have a, um, a prestigious old building, and perhaps the people in this particular club want to have a ghost. You know, a lot of the old British clubs had ghosts, and perhaps there's a deliberate effort to create a, a legend of a ghost. I don't know. But uh, this, the history of this particular ghost, uh, the, the man dragged to the front steps uh, after he had died uh, in the company of a prostitute, uh, is a rather vague one. Did that actually happen or not? Was that made up to support the ghost story? Is the ghost really kind of a club mascot? Did it start out as a, as a, as a hoax that uh, later on came to be believed by generations of, of members? It's hard to say. But what you have here, very vague story to back up the notion that there should be a ghost there. And then, of course, all the possibility in the world uh, to, to have people imagine a ghost once they've, once they've learned the story. There are seven rooms at the Halifax Club, all named after predominant or founding members of the club. Three behind me, the Kenny, Tobin, and Kennard, uh, were named after founding members. The Halifax Club had quite a famous member at one time. His name was Kennard. Kennard owned a shipping lines in Halifax, and in fact, it was Kennard's company who built the infamous Titanic. Near the Halifax Club is actually the site or cemetery of the victims of that disaster. 
It's quite possible the activity in the cemetery is a result of these four souls that are actually wanting to go home. And no doubt these victims on occasion might be going looking for the man responsible for building that ship. And what better place to look for him than the Halifax Club? Some of the haunting type scenarios that have happened here at the club uh, have involved chandeliers swinging. One waitress in particular heard one day the sound of glasses banging together. And when she looked around to see what was going on, she realized that the sound of glass was actually the chandelier above her swinging back and forth on its own. Now, this has occurred many times in the dining rooms. And on one particular occasion, not one chandelier, but many chandeliers were swinging back and forth at the same time. Obviously, the general manager never left the dining room. There has been a staff member who's come to me and said, I get this eerie chill over my body when locking up. Waiters and waitresses working in the club have also reported hearing whispers and sensing someone right beside them. And yet when they turn around, no one is there and there was no one there to call their name. We do know that we possibly may have two spirits haunting the Halifax Club. It could be the gentleman member or the general manager. But whoever it is, we do know that they have taken out an eternal membership in the Halifax Club. <laughs>